Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to vastly expand the capabilities of the Windows Media Player on your Windows device by installing the Media Player Kodak Pack, which will expand the amount of different file formats that are supported by the Media Player. So this is not through Microsoft, this is a third party program which is completely free. And I'm actually going to bring up the developer's website here. So if you read over the package overview, it says it can support almost every compression and file type used by modern video and audio files. The package is simple to install while also offering advanced settings to the high-end user. So for simple installation, select easy installation. And they give a little definition of what a Kodak is. And I think we might as well mention that in this tutorial. And going off of their definition, it is a piece of software on either device or computer capable of encoding and or decoding video and or audio data from files, streams, and broadcast. The word Kodak is derived from the compressor, decompressor acronym. And we can see different compression file types that you can play from, which is usually many more than you would actually would need. And we can see the resolution support as well. They do support 4K, 1080p, 1080i, and so forth. So very high quality video as well. And it is a free to use program. They do have an option to donate to their program as well. So if you chose to do so, you'd be more than welcome to. I will include a link to this website in the description of the video so you can go right to it. And there should be a button on the left side, at least at the time of this recording, that says download in blue. So I'm gonna left click on that to begin the download. It's gonna ask you what you wanna do with this setup file. It is about 47 megabytes, so it's a little bit big. So we are going to save it. It should not take very long to download. It might take a minute or so, a couple minutes. So just be patient here. And then once it's finished downloading, you can click on the Run button to run it. Might be a little bit different depending on what web browser you're using to download this file with, but it should be pretty universal across most web browser platforms. If you receive a user account control window asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, it should see Media Player Kodak Pack. It is a verified publisher here. You want to select Yes and I would recommend you download it from the official website here and you see that through the setup file it says setup detected your operating system as Windows 10 DVD playback will only function if your version of Windows includes Microsoft DVD player which I believe is an additional charge through the App Store for Windows 10 device and we can see that they do expand on that a little bit saying that this is a restriction put in place by Microsoft and has nothing to do with the installer or its author other formats will function as normal. That is completely out of their control. That's purely a Microsoft decision to pull the DVD player that was included with other versions of Windows. You still have ways of playing DVDs. It's just, it's kind of, I mean, I have my own opinions about it, but we're going to just click on OK so we can continue with the installer here. And again, this should not take too long. I believe it downloaded everything in that one installer, so that probably was going to be the most time consuming part of this. So we're going to see that a new window appears that offers a single package solution providing codecs for playback and production of most modern digital media. We're going to select detailed installation here just so we can see what is being installed and then we're going to select next. We do have to accept the end user license agreement here so after you're done reading through it you want to click on I agree. I recommend keeping most of this stuff default here. I'd select all of them. And then once you're done doing that, click on install. I always like doing the detailed install just to see if they're bundling any additional third-party applications with the installer as well. It's usually a safe bet just to check, but this is a pretty safe and legitimate. So underneath video settings, if you're unsure about these settings, please just click next. 
So you just after you're done verifying that this is what your setup is and it really shouldn't have any problem with it, you want to just select next. It should be pretty much where you would expect. I'm going to just select next again and then I'm going to finish here, which would be the place to, to conduct an optional donation to them. So it should say installation completed successfully. Some settings may not apply until the next time you restart your computer. So it's going to ask you, would you like to view the file association guide? You can click on yes. I'm going to click on no because I don't really need to see it for this video. And then at this point, you should be able to play additional media files and compressions through the Windows Media Player. So that's kind of cool. And I do hope you guys learned something in this brief tutorial. I hope it helped you out. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.